love talking about weddings. So <laughs> I will read our viewer question. Yes. Here we go. Right. Skinny or bust? <laughs> I'm seriously loving this. Skinny or bust? Said. Oh, that's their name. I was like, yeah, yeah. should you be skinny or like, bust what? for your wedding? I was like, skinny or bust for your wedding? That's a that's a, maybe not the right it. message to send. <laughs> Get skinny. Or, um, skinny or bust says, I would love to see an episode about your weddings. Wedding do's and don'ts. I will be a newlywed come September, and I would love to hear more about the special moments at your weddings. All right. I feel like we always look over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, if I could give advice about my wedding, I like that we. It's fun to think about all the great things that play into a wedding, like of course girls and their dresses and the flowers and the cake, and of course, like if that's important to you, by no means am I trying to take the shine off of that. But something that I think, like, if I, you know, I want to get married again, I really want to make it about, like, our journey as a couple because that's, like, our page you look back on. And I think too many people get wrapped up on all the unnecessary things of the wedding. And I think people need to focus on why you're there to get married and to come together mm -hmm. as, you know, husband and wife or, you know, whatever. You're joining your love and your union and your family. And it's not about, like, the groom's cake and the bridesmaid dresses and, who's sitting at what table and you know all those crazy things all those details that don't really matter because at the end you're not going to remember those things and that's something about our like kind of my you know my wedding was I like that we just it was really just thrown together and quick and it was just immediate family and I think looking back I was just grateful that my family was there and that you know you guys were there supporting me and loving me and that's all that mattered to me so mm -hmm. if I could give advice for somebody who's going to going to get married don't stress about all the other things just make it about you and your love story. I agree with that. I was thinking about our wedding, knowing we were going to be talking about this, and um, and thinking about how stressful it was. But then the morning of my wedding, I remember looking outside, and my mom was getting stuff set up, and thinking that exact thing: like, there's nothing else we can do, and I want to be in this moment because I'm marrying Casey, who I've wanted to marry for so long, and I loved him. And I remember the morning, it, you know, that morning, just thinking, I love this moment, and it doesn't yeah. matter. Nice. I'm grateful that I was a part of both of your weddings in a way. I got to do your hair. Mm -hmm. I got to be a bridesmaid, and that dress was awesome. I wore it to a dance. Yeah, Homecoming. Awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. You actually wore your bridesmaid dress again. I yeah. Feel like that never so, happened. Yeah, it was totally. really pretty. It was cute. Hot pinkish coral. It was, Watermelon. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. awesome. It's cap sleeve, like super fitting, and then had a little like slit. It was super cute. Good job, dog. Thanks. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. You're next in the oh, line. Oh, oh, oh. She's looking at me like, oh, it's going to go. Um, well, yeah, we, we were only engaged for a month and three weeks, so literally it was like, well, let's throw together a wedding. And I never actually, I was not one of those girls that was like, oh, my wedding, I'm going to have this and that. I never, ever did that. So I really didn't, I wasn't very picky. Um, and now looking back, I wish I would have done a few things different, like I never did the bouquet toss or any of that kind of traditional stuff. Yeah. But, you know, it was really, I was just so happy to be getting married that it was just really fast and we just used the church for our reception and my parents literally, they spent, I don't know, a couple grand and that's it. Um, you know, my mom altered my dress for me and it was just really special. Our refreshments actually were Golden Graham s'mores. <laughs> Which are awesome, I love them. <laughs> They're one of Shay's favorite, like, <laughs> things to eat that his grandma always made. So we had those for like <laughs> the refreshments and the ladies in the church helped us make them. And it was just really simple and it was beautiful. Your cake was awesome. Like I loved it. Oh, well, the funny thing with the cake was it wasn't supposed to turn out that way. It was <laughs> like so it, was a, cool. it was a castle, but the lady that set it up was not the actual lady that made it. So she set it up on this huge thing. So it was like a castle floating in the sky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and cool. I remember looking at it going, is it supposed to look like that? But then I was just like, eh, it's fine. Um, but later when the cake decorator saw the pictures of it, she was mortified. She was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's like that. It was a cool but cake. I was just like, oh, it's cool, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. So, Are there particular, because I, I know all three of you guys are Mormon, is there a set wedding ceremony? Like, a, did you all engage in the same back and forth, the same vows, or does it vary? How does that work? I didn't because I my ex wasn't Mormon. Okay. And so I had a bishop from my church that we both we both had agreed on because we knew him and we both liked him. Mm -hmm. So they were just like general like and he sat with us the night before or like a week before and like talked about what we wanted to say and what we didn't. And he did he did this really he read from the Bible and we were like, you know, something that we had both talked about and he did this really cool sand pouring um, thing. My ex had his sand and I had my sand and we poured it together in this jar and how our like things were coming together and it you it mixed the colors but it was still separate but it was together in one 
one. And so I like that he did that. That was cool. But it wasn't traditional because we believe that you should be married, that when you're married in the temple, you're married for time and all eternity. And so that, but my ex wasn't Mormon, so we couldn't be married in the temple. But hopefully futuristically I'll find a, you know, yeah. <laughs> somebody who want to be married in the temple. Because that's what I wanted, but, you know, he didn't believe that. So it was like I couldn't be like, please do it for me. So Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. In the Mormon religion, we believe in places called the temple where, you know, if you're living your life a certain way and you meet the right person and you're both on the same page in that way and you speak with your bishop and you're ready, then you can be married um, for all time and eternity in the temple. So, and in there, it's, it's a really small ceremony and the people that, you know, also have the opportunity to go to the temple are able to be there with you. And so Shay and I were married that morning at 11 o'clock in the temple. It was a very quiet ceremony, just really simple, small. And then we celebrated that night with the reception of the church. So yes. all the friends and family could be there. That's when the craziness there. really starts. Yes, yeah, wild. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Jewish, but Ben isn't. Um, he actually isn't really himself, a fil- doesn't really affiliate with a religion, but he was raised Lutheran. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not particularly religiously Jewish, but we're cult- you know culturally... It's important to me, and I did want to get married in some sort of Jewish-ish, jewish e way. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, but we didn't want somebody really religious. We were getting married in a barn in upstate New York. Um, so we wanted someone casual, and we actually found this amazing woman rabbi who was actually herself an Auschwitz survivor, who was like wow. 82 wow. and really short and um, kind of a stand-up comic. Like, uh-huh. she was amazing. We went and talked to her, and she knew, you know, she marries everyone, gay couples, everybody, like, I'm any non she did does totally non Jewish weddings. She's just like I believe in love, you know. Mm-hmm. So she was the perfect person to kind of bring some of the elements that I wanted that were traditional and also explain to everybody. It was important to Ben that if we were doing anything that was from the from the Jewish tradition, that his family wouldn't feel weird, yeah. and that she would explain the meaning of what these different traditions were. So it was actually really nice because we worked with her a lot to kind of custom make our ceremony, and we wrote our own vows, which we said on the day of the wedding. And completely again cried our eyes out and um but it was really really it felt really special and personal because we knew we had it to have it be that way since we weren't both from the same place and we didn't have yeah. something that we had to do and the other really funny moment I remember from walking down the aisle when I came down the aisle um Ben was uh, we had even though we'd lived together before that we spent the night before our wedding apart and so we hadn't seen each other. And I woke up that morning and I was like jumping on the bed and I was just so, so, so <laughs> excited. It was just hilarious. And my friends were really sweet and they cooked me breakfast. And, um, but uh, when I walked on the aisle, Ben hadn't seen me in a while. And of course I, I looked pretty because you're supposed to on your wedding. <laughs> and did. he um, got really choked up. And mm-hmm. then when we stood there for a second before we started um, the ceremony, it was just all this tension and he just started laughing and I just started laughing and like everybody started laughing and it was like a full minute of oh, laughter so and then cool. the rabbi was like wiping tears away and we were like okay and it really cleared the air and started this funny funny thing. I saw a pin on Pinterest that, Pinterest so that cool. I love that said today two families are coming together we ask that you choose a seat and not choose a side. And I thought, like, with my, like, that was perfect because that was hard to bridge both gaps because Mm -hmm. I still knew what I believed in my heart and still wanted that. Mm -hmm. But I was in love with this man who didn't believe that. And so it's like, how do I entertain or how do I support my own wants and needs and my family's wants and needs and his and this family that I'm being married into because I wanted them to be just as much as my family as my family is. And so trying trying to bring those two sides together I thought was hard. And that's why sometimes when you're married, Mm -hmm. it's better not better it, it works out all the hard stuff if you can find love within somebody who believes the same things that you believe and so it's interesting I think there are a lot a lot of the conflicts that I think a lot of the reasons weddings become very stressful for families is or for couples and their families is because they're trying to please a lot of different people mm-hmm. and trying to marry mm-hmm. even not even just you know religious beliefs but like what a wedding's supposed to be in yeah. different families and how much you should spend on it and do you have this bar or do you have, you know, and that yeah. can, I think, cause a lot of conflict. So I also had a small wedding and it was only our immediate family and we decided to get married four months after we got enga- engaged. Yeah, we didn't have the official thing, but yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, I wanted to have a small wedding and I feel like I wouldn't want to be that bride at a wedding that's there to entertain people. So even if I was to get married again, it would probably be very small. And I thought, what a great way, because we did it right after the holidays, right after New Year's. Like, what a great way to get our families to really get to know each other. Mm -hmm. So they both came from, they're both from out of town. And we spent three days 
it was it was a great wedding. It was a beautiful wedding. We spent three days, all of us together, getting to know each other and the families, going to dinners together, going to breakfast and hanging out. It was a really nice wedding. And I oh, I cried. My dad walked me down the aisle and I like could not stop crying. And yeah. I'm like that. Like I watch other people's wedding on TLC and I cry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's and something. I'll go to a wedding as, as like a guest and I don't even know the people and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that was me and my dad. Well, he was like, even today, he's like, I, when you were crying at your wedding, is it because like you didn't want to get married? And I'm like, no, of course not. I wouldn't have gotten married just to get married. I'm like, mm-hmm. no, it's just I get emotional. But it was a it was a beautiful wedding. It was a it was a a great wedding. And I don't have any like if I look back at my marriage, it's like all great yeah. experience. And that's like something I will always like remember. That's so good. Nice. Yeah, it was a great wedding. What about you, Kaylee? Well, I, like what, I didn't really dream of my wedding day or, or anything. But um, after Casey and I got engaged, I decided that I wanted my wedding in my grandparents' yard, and they were on a mission. So we got engaged in February, and my parents were getting home in April. So we were thinking, let's get married in May. My mom was like, no, because to me it was like, yeah, that would just work out perfectly. My, my mom was like, no, they have to get the yard ready. There's so much more. Right. But to me, I was like, we can just throw this together. Yeah. So we ended up getting married in August. So we were engaged for six months. And I really did want it simple and cute. Mm-hmm. I didn't want this elegant, beautiful wedding. I wanted it cute with Gerber daisies and all that fun stuff. So I loved I loved my wedding day. It was really fun. And I cried, too, about my dad. Mm. Well, first of all, at at our wedding luncheon, I don't know if you guys remember, my dad talking, and he was like, Kaylee, I've always been your superhero, but I'm not going to be your superhero anymore. That's Casey's job. And I was like, what? (laughs) There's two things to break. What are you saying to me right now? (laughs) But, you know, I mean, he was handing that job over to Casey. And so I did cry over my dad and walking me down the aisle. Mm -hmm. But... Again, I was just giggling. <laughs> I was just like giggling through my wedding reception. I remember walking down the aisle and the way Casey was looking at me was I don't think he's ever looked at me like that since. Just like he loved me and he was only looking at me and I remember it just made me like this bashful little girl. I was like <laughs> <laughs> And then when we were supposed right. to say like you know, well, do you take her to be your wife? And Casey was like, yes, and just staring at me. He didn't uh, He didn't look away from me the whole time. And then they asked me, and I was like, yes. And they were like, what? And I was like, yes. <laughs> like, just laughing, but it's so, so cute. Sweet. It was really sweet. I want to tell that part when after you guys, like, he said you can kiss Sister Butler. Oh. Because in our church you say sister, brother, like in associations that I miss, like at church, whatever. So he said, the guy who married you guys or sold mm-hmm. you guys said, you are you can now kiss Sister Butler. And she, like, turned around and looked at my mom like, okay. It's like, maybe it's like a scout scene. Like, you go and, like, you got married. <laughs> kiss so your mom? Or so, like, so did he go over to, like, kiss mom? He went mom? to kiss, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. And the guy was so like, no, funny. your wife. You can kiss your wife now. <laughs> <laughs> she is Sister Butler now. <laughs> that she stick on your last so name. Funny. <laughs> I practiced my kiss for like days. It was like we can't have like a big makeout session. It can't just be a little snack. Like we practice a bunch. <laughs> that sounds fun. fun. <laughs> sure. Sure. Kaylee, I loved your wedding. It was so beautiful. Like the Utah it mountains. Was. It was, it was so a pretty. summer night. Like it, it, it was, was beautiful. Pretty. It was in my grandma's yard, and it was a special place to me because I grew up yeah. spending a lot of time there and spending a lot of t- time and the pastures behind the house and in the barns, and so you could see all that back behind us. And I loved your wedding, it was so, so fun. Nice. Where did you actually get married? We got married actually in Vegas. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh. Viva mm-hmm. Las Vegas. Because we didn't want to pick a, we originally thought about like a vineyard, but mm-hmm. it was all for like big venues, and mm-hmm. we didn't have that many people. Right. And it's, so we were like, let's just go there, find like we like the beautiful Bellagio. We, it was beautiful. It was yeah. like, yeah. and we wanted to be out of LA, so there was no cars. Like if families weren't gonna drive away to right. do their thing during the day, we we're gonna be at the same hotel. We had this beautiful. We got like the penthouse. With, it was like mm-hmm. it was so nice. It was, mm-hmm. The penthouse was crazy, and uh, you know they have great restaurants there, and we all like would go gamble and play and have fun. It was fun. great. It was That's such a fun. fun. It was like a three day adventure with our families getting together. That's the awesome. weather was so nice. beautiful. Just it was so. Fun. Anyways, his family, right? Come yeah. Together. I think my next wedding, if I get married again, which I think I will, will be on the beach, though. Oh, mm-hmm. that feels really right for you. For you. Yeah. Yeah. We wanted outdoor, something that felt outdoors, but we were living in New York at the time. We just found a place upstate that felt like we could, there was a fire pit, so mm-hmm. there it was oh, just, fun. and it had a lot of grass. It was mellow, but there was still a dance floor, so we could kind of 
kind of get down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all yeah, coming. Crazy. It's coming. We did. We got crazy. Um, it, and it was really fun. And I think one of the things that somebody told me that was the best advice I got for my wedding was um, when you're up there getting married to just take one second to look out at the people that are in the, in the, that are, I don't want to say the audience, but the people that are the there guests. with you because our wedding wasn't huge, but it wasn't tiny, but it was really our best friends and really close family and just people that we'll probably never have in the same place yeah, again yeah. that kind of really nurtured good. us throughout our lives, different stages, people from act that we acted with, from different schools. And it, I did take that and look out, and it was a really meaningful moment. I saw that image in my brain of just the, I had a professor that, you know, was there from a long time ago. Just people that you... That's true. That's you have that rare. one moment that, that made each of you who you are. Yeah. And they're there to, like, all together. It was, that's awesome. So that's I, the advice. That's the only thing that I remembered that was advice because people tell you a lot of things and I forgot all of it. It was the only thing I remember that I actually think is worth passing on. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, like, all that hard work people put into their mm -hmm. wedding, when it's your wedding, just let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Let it just go the way it's going to go. I see, I've been to weddings where the bride is, like, one, checking, oh, it's not yeah, right, oh, this is totally. oh, got that. It's like, no, just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Don't stress out. Yeah. It should be your that one day. It's such a special day. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of brides say, too, like, those crazy moments that weren't planned or those things that fall through or end up end up being the things that like made them laugh and like oh yeah, that's yeah. so funny mm -hmm. and like you know yeah. not memories of the wedding but like that made it kind of special or memorable yeah mm -hmm. memorable. I have I have a good friend that I used to work with and her daughter was getting married and her daughter had the best attitude she said this is a celebration we're not pl we're not right. planning like we don't need to think of it as a wedding. We need to think of it as a party. Yeah, yeah. we're That's celebrating. That's how I want my next wedding. It was just awesome. like a big dance and mm -hmm. like mm, yeah. celebration. Yeah. You guys, thanks for talking so about this. Thank I know you. it actually was fun. It's kind of fun to remember. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll look forward to being at. We're we're all gonna be bridesmaids at your wedding, right? Totally. <laughs> we're totally. Yeah. He's like, I don't know. No. Yeah. <laughs> so far, everybody that's watching is invited made. to our next wedding. Really? <laughs> Whenever that day comes, <laughs> we have a giveaway. It is actually paid for wedding. Oh, <laughs> Carly personally, it's going to be for your wedding. It's not going to be that great. This Dollars is for quality. <laughs> no, sorry, for a know. stressed out bride to be, this is a pedicure kit with some nail polish and a oh, pumice like. bar and. If your group has things. terrible feet, you can shape them right up. <laughs> That's so true. Get ready for the wedding. Get ready for the wedding. Um, so go to our Facebook page and tell us what are your thoughts? What's a wedding do or don't that you would want to share with us and that you think, either from your own experience or from other weddings, wedding do or don't. Um, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, leave your comments and questions. Thanks for watching. The Thank long. you. Bye. 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 See you next time.